Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeremy Episode Red here. Welcome to the first episode of my new series, How They Became a Godzilla Fan. And my first guest today is uh, someone that I've collabed with before, BB Entertainment. Can you say hello, man? What's up, y'all? Yep, so today I'm going to be asking him a series of questions about how he became a Godzilla fan. So, uh, how long have you been a Godzilla fan? Um, I've been a Godzilla fan for like a while. I'll say ever since I was like, maybe 6 or 10 years old. Oh god, that's longer than me. How about you? Uh, I was a Godzilla fan f for not for not that long. I'm still a pretty new fan. I was a fan... So I've always liked Godzilla since I was a kid, but I never became like a diehard fan until uh, I saw the first trailer to King of the Monsters. That's when I became a diehard fan. Alright, so what was the what was the very first Godzilla movie you saw? The very first Godzilla movie that I saw was Godzilla vs. Destroyer. That's a good one. That's a good one. I've seen that one. That's one of the best ones. Alright, now I'm gonna ask you two Kong questions. How long have you been a Kong fan? Um, ooh, I probably would say like since 2017, since that's when the Skull Kong Island came Skull out. Island video, I mean, movie came out, but I'm not that hard Kong fan. Yeah, yeah, but same. I still got nothing. Yeah, I still got plenty of respect for him. Yeah, next question is, what's the very first Kong movie you saw? I'm gonna guess it was the one from 2005, the Peter Jackson one, where he was like, smaller. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what made you begin to love Godzilla? Well, I think um, well, I saw the um, Godzilla vs King Kong 1962 film. No, yeah, I that's why I'm really on attached to Godzilla more attached. Yeah, I yeah, I haven't seen that movie. I really want to though. I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere. And watch it. I think it's on Amazon Prime or something. Uh, Just look it up on YouTube. I could do that also. I've watched lots of Godzilla movies on YouTube. I'm about to get exposed. Okay. Um, what about? Okay. So, what is your favorite Godzilla movie? Godzilla: Final Wars. That is a very good answer. That is a very good one, also. Like right. Godzilla 2004. The, he's the GOAT, the most powerful live action Godzilla there is. Yeah, he's one of the most powerful. I definitely agree. Some people say that Heisei Burning Godzilla could defeat him. I don't know. I'm going to do a versus video on that one day. But yes, Final Wars is definitely the most powerful or one of the most powerful. That would be a close fight. Yeah. Alright, so what is your least favorite Godzilla movie? Well, should not be obvious, the guys, this is a 1998 film. I'm, I was expecting that, yep. I'm expecting that with our ne next guest also, which I'm actually going to be doing an interview with tomorrow. But, uh, so, now that we know what your least favorite is, well, first tell me, elaborate, why is he your least favorite? That's because, just for a simple fact, that he got taken up by missiles, <laughs> and he will not breathe atomic breath. Yes, yes. What the, um... But they did want to bring Godzilla some justice with the animated series. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think so the anime that, was like it. I mean, I, I watched the first time I watched it, I didn't like it. The second time I watched it, I thought it was okay. But it's definitely not my favorite series, the anime. And same thing with the 1998. I will say, though, the very first time I was interested to Godzilla was the 1998 Godzilla, since I live in America. So, of course, that's going to be the first one I'm interested I'm, uh, I'm uh, that's the first one I see because I that's the American first American Godzilla But yeah, uh, so what is your no well now that we know what your least favorite is what is your favorite version of Godzilla? Um, It's either gonna be between legendary Godzilla yep. or final War Godzilla Very good answers final wars is so Pete and legendary I he just looks epic honestly I, I, I understand that he could be beaten by many of the other Godzillas, but he's still one of the best ones, I think. Alright, now last question. Uh, and this is not really controversial, but we're going to get lots of comments about this. Who do you think would win between Godzilla and Kong? Well, I really, I really want Godzilla to win because I'm a diehard Godzilla fan. Yep. But lately... 
all these Godzilla fans been throwing shade at Kong, like not showing no respect. So now yeah. I just want Kong to win, so the fans can put some respect on his name. Yeah, some people think Kong will win because it's your classic underdog story, but I don't know. I'm on Godzilla's side. I'm on Godzilla's side because, like you, diehard Godzilla fan. All right. Uh, one more question, okay? Uh, let me just think of one first. <laughs> uh, I can ask you some Jurassic Park questions also if you want me to. All right. All right. So, uh, what's your favorite Jurassic Park movie? Jurassic Park Three. That's interesting. Most people don't really say that, but I, I, they say it's bad. I don't think Jurassic Park Three is bad. I like it a lot, also. But yeah, some people have said that it's the Lost World or the first one, but Jurassic Park 3, that's, I think that's still a good one, no matter how bad people think it is. I, I like Jurassic Park 3, honestly. I rewatch that a lot. Uh, okay, and what is your favorite dinosaur from Jurassic Park? The T-Rex. The T-Rex. Yes. Awesome, okay. Now, uh, one more thing from Jurassic Park. What do you think about the fact that they, they're not really as realistic like the dinosaurs now that we know how dinosaurs are actually like? Do you still think Jurassic Park dinosaurs are better than real life dinosaurs? Or do you wish that they made them look more like real life dinosaurs? I wish they had made them look like real life dinosaurs. With the feathers and stuff. Honestly, I think a T-Rex with feathers. Like, fe some people think it would look less intimidating. I would like to see a T-Rex with feathers. I think that'd be cool. A T-Rex with feathers. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Not like feathers all over, maybe. Like, just a couple on his back. That's how some people have done it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Same thing with the um, Velociraptors. Yeah, yeah. I still like the imposing, vo the big imposing Velociraptor. So, but with feathers... I would like that. If, as long as they keep it the same size to keep it as scary as it's been, I would be fine with feathers. Alright, uh, I think that's, that is all the questions. So, guys, thank you uh, for watching this video. Thank you to BB Entertainment for being in this video. Go subscribe to his channel. I'll put his, um, his, uh, Oh, his latest video in the link in the description. I forgot. I haven't made a YouTube video in months, guys. Don't judge me. So go watch his video. Yeah, and now I'm going to reveal to you our next guest. Tomorrow I will be doing this with Dante Dotson. Oh, snap. You're going to collab with Dante Dotson? Yes. <laughs> I DM'd him and I didn't think he would message me back, but he did. Oh, yeah. Me and him be DMing each other sometimes. Oh, that's epic. Yeah, but I'm going to be doing this with Dante Dawson, so stay tuned for that, guys. That will be recorded tomorrow. I don't know if it will be out the same day as this one or the day after. But yeah, thank you for BB Entertainment to being our first guest. Thank you, man, for doing this. You have anything you want to say? No, not much. All right, thank you. Well, that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.